Anybody has heard about next gen project or next gen event? Raise your hand. Check it out. You've heard. Please raise your hand for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's next. Yes. There's Andy uh, in the back. So this next gen, uh, it's next generation, basically. It's a shortened version of next gen generation. And this term actually introduced by, um, anybody knows Taco from Yos? So he was actually one, he was actually the person who proposed the term next gen. As a community, we usually throw an ID on the make WordPress blog and ask people to contribute. And we were talking about, okay, we want to try to do something different than Meetup and um, WordCamps. What, what, what do we want to call this thing? And then he said, next gen or next generation? Sounds good. Let's do it. So it, it is a, it's a project. It's an experimentation. And this is something that I wanted to invite you um, to join. But let's just quickly go to WordPress events. All right. So I'm going to talk about these three points, why we gather types of WordPress events and the next gen events. Why we gather as a community? Well, Chia Kisang actually already shared everything. Why we gather? Why we want to meet people? Why we want to go and make the efforts to go to WordPress events? Because of the Maslow uh, diagram, right? So thanks to Maslow. Thanks to Chia Kisang. Um, so we're not going to talk too much about that. But basically, we come together at an event to learn, to share, to inspire, to collaborate, to celebrate what we love, which is WordPress. Don't forget about the celebration thing. We celebrate our small winnings, uh, or big winnings, or medium winnings, whatever. We win. We win. WordPress is the largest community-driven CMS platform, right? Nothing else. It's 43% in the world, 65% in the world. And events are integral parts of the ecosystem. We have our ecosystem. At the local level, we have meetup, international level, or probably bigger level, there's like WordCamps, and then international level, we have flagship events, such as WordCamp Asia that Chia Kisang uh, mentioned before. It's where we foster the sense of community because we are open source platform. The open source platform relies on every single one of us here. Every single second that you contribute, it's valuable to the WordPress community. Um, and we want to contribute to the development and success of the WordPress project. We can't just say, come on, WordPress is not safe. Come on, you know, the security or the, um, um, what is Gutenberg? Why we are using Gutenberg? You can actually have a say, but you just have to be part of the community. Why Gu Gutenberg doesn't matter to you? Why Gutenberg matters to you? You have the space to actually share your concern, your ideas, your excitements, your dreams. So we're talking about events, uh, and that is part of the community team uh, project. So anybody attended uh, Contributor Day yesterday and heard about we have 22 community, uh, we have 22 projects or 22 teams, and the last team is actually sustainability. So we do have sustainability team in the WordPress.org project. This team is talking about how we can save the earth by still doing what we love doing, WordPressing. So that matters. So probably next time, we don't want to see this in our events. We want to see more of this in our, at our events. Um, less of this and more of this. So that's the sustainability team's work. Um, basically, what you can do, so that's why I think yesterday Lorna said the aim for Contributor Day is to at least get one batch. It's a little bit difficult for community team because to get a batch in the community team, you have to apply as a WordCamp organizer or apply as a meetup organizer. Um, apply and your application reviewed and you are onboarded. Giving, we are giving you or orientation what we expect, the code of conduct, the five good faith rules. It's just something that brings us together, basically. Um, and then you run the event, basically. So that's where you can get um, a badge. Um, and you can also become an event supporter or program supporter. 
So for example, Julian, Julian Song, the lead of this word camp, um, once he finished everything, he completed the whole event, he can apply as a event mentor. And that is the event supporter. Program supporters, um, there are people such as uh, Sam Suresh. You know Sam? Sam Suresh, uh, um, he is uh, a program manager. So he's the one who review application, give orientation. So it's more of an admin work, but also he has some advisory uh, responsibilities. So people like Sam, they are not only mentoring word camps, but they also have some decision-making sort of roles and responsibilities. And so contributing as an event organizers. Who can organize WordPress events? I was just before uh, Noor Alifa step up the stage, I said you can actually uh, become part of the Kuala Lumpur meetup groups. You can be one of the co-organizers, as easy as that. Connect to Mayo, Mayo or Sam Shuresh, or um, who else? Mayo, Sam, uh, Liu. Um, they are existing co-organizers. They are welcoming you, onboarding you, mentoring you, and they can promote you on meetup.com becoming co-organizers. That easy. But you need to follow the five good faith rules and then respect our community code, for, code of conduct. All open source community will have some sort of code of conduct. Otherwise, everyone in the world would just regulate, do whatever they like, and that's not what we want for our loving WordPress. Um, and then you also need to uh, respect the principle of open source, and you show up on time, because as event organizers, you can't be late. You can't have your members come earlier than you. You have to be there, welcoming and be friendly and inclusive. So yeah, being late is something that we encourage you not to do it too often. <laughs> I know, we're in Asia, you know, traffic jams are everywhere. So sometimes that helps you back. Um, anyway, five good faith rules basically just saying whatever you do in the community, it's for the sake of the community, not for businesses or personal gain. Types of WordPress events. I'm going to be quickly with this. Um, so WordPress events are space where we meet, connect, learn, as I mentioned before. But the most important thing is this, contribute to the WordPress project. What you do is for the sake of community and the WordPress project, the WordPress, the software itself, and everything surrounds it. First, we have meetups. Anybody hasn't been to any meetups at all? Raise your hands. Okay, then you have to start a meetup in your area, in your city, in your town. Oh, what did I do? Oh, okay, that should. Okay, next is WordCamps. You are at WordCamp, so that's good. Thick. So meetups has a WordCamp, thick. Many WordCamps, then you have to talk to Chia Kisang and consult how can you can, how you can be a great WordCamp hoppers. Better than Chia Kisang. <laughs> Sorry. So word camps. The first word camp was in 26, uh, 200, uh, 2006 in San Francisco. Um, and now we have over 1,100 word camps across the world. Do you know this guy? Exactly. How young Matt was. 2006. He's technically my boss. He's so young, right? I didn't recognize him. So this is Matt. So I, I heard somebody mention about WordCamp uh, uh, Malaysia a um, long time ago. Yes, everywhere in the world, it started with WordCamp as a countrywide events. But now, since we have the meetup programs, then we have WordCamps locally. And then we have what we call contributor events. So the events that you did yesterday, that can actually happen separately from WordCamps. Meetup organizers can organize contributor events as part of their meetup, meetup events. And then we have youth events or kids camp that Chaki san also mentioned. Sometimes it also, uh, it's also uh, attached to WordCamps uh, similar to contributor day. And then we have do action events. I don't think this happens in Southeast Asia. It happens in India and Africa a lot. This is where people get together and then create a one running website and donated it to an NGO. 
So it's a charity event. So in that event, you have groups of, for example, you have two NGOs, then you have two groups, but this one group consists of program managers, uh, developers, designers, web creators, SEO practitioner, everyone that helps one website uh, created and run, running. So that's what you do uh, for do action. And then we do also have open source workshop. It happens in India a couple of times and in some other part of the world. I don't think in South Asia, Southeast Asia, we have this. And then we have next gen WordPress project. So this is still a project just launched in May. We don't have a deadline for this project. Um, at this moment, I think we have officially 15 pilot projects. Um, most of them are the projects are uh, the the projects that are in in Asia. They are in um, uh, India and then Indonesia, um, and so that's why we are looking for more projects uh, from anywhere in the world. And this is an event that is different than meetups and and word camps. Why is it different? This is so I'm highlighting the words. I'm not going to read this for you, but innovation. And we care for the WordPressers of today and tomorrow. So we want you to innovate with the events, the way you do events, the formats, the engagement, the, the way you approach it, the way you run it, uh, the way you plan it, anything. We want some innovation. We're not saying meetup and word camps are bad, no, but we need to step up our game. WordPress, this is what, this is where I, this is something that I always say anywhere. WordPress needs to get bigger and stronger. And to do that, we need to get smarter and more creative. And we need not to only retain our great people that are here now, but we want to have new people coming in, fresh blood, fresh minds, creativities. And to do that, we need to have a better events events that are more impactful, events that are more engaging, and we need you to do that. And so what we're looking for is an event uh, that is unique and innovative uh, in terms of formats and topics. Um, and then we want you to try your best to reach out to new audience. Bring new attendees to your events. WordCamp Malaysia has been doing a good job by having 50% of participants of the Contributor Day. And I think in general also, you have pretty much, I mean, today, um, was that you? Yeah, Chia, Chia Kisang, you asked is, uh, whether you are all uh, first timers and many of you raise your hands. So kudos to you. Thank you for coming and celebrating WordPress with us. Well, you also have a round of applause. And then we want you to connect to non-WordPress groups. We are inclusive community. We need to be open, to get inspired, to learn from others how we can be better. That's what we want you to do with your WordPress events as well. Um, and then we want you to collaborate with sponsors. So sponsors, if anybody uh, is sponsoring this event today, next time if you want to sponsor uh, events, Try to approach the organizers in a way that you are collaborating with them. Because every one of us, sponsors included, you are part of our community. Community are not just people who are organizing events and having extra roles and responsibilities. Users, businesses, you all part of our community and you matter so much. And we need your creativity. We need you to collaborate. How can we uh, have a better event by creating a, a better engagement? That, it, that works for sponsors, but also for the attendees. I don't think you want to come to the events only bring, you know, bringing the raw banners that are heavy and then boxes of um, swags only and then just wait for your um, potential market to come to you. You want to do something, right? You want to connect. You want to feel what the problem is for your potential um, uh, markets um, doing what they do with WordPress. You want to you want to understand that you want to connect. I mean, if we talk about what um, Theo shared with us uh, earlier today, you know, you want to feel it because you're basically a human being. You have the social needs as well to connect um, with people. So have 
that experience with your sponsors. And um, we also want you, oh, what's happening? Okay. We also want you to understand what is your community's desire? What do they want? And last but not least, use this opportunity to reactivate your community. So next gen event projects, um, these are just some of the IDs. We shared this in, um, on the Make WordPress blog. We do have long list of options. It was just, you don't have to do that. If you have any other interesting ID, please. But this is just some of the, the, uh, the sort of IDs. I think Hong Kong is going to do something like a speed dating thing on, in February. So riding on, I mean, it was just a talk, uh, with Ivan. Uh, that would be interesting if, if you can actually pull it off. Um, February, you know, Valentine's. And if you do a speed dating, but for businesses and potential clients, that interesting, right? So something like that. Uh, get inspiration from all sorts um, of, of like community or even TV program. And so this is just a, a list. Um, I haven't updated. It should be 15 because the, the last one just added yesterday by Sam Suresh. Uh, but the first four, they were already implemented and some of them are still sort of overlapping with WordCamps because some community are still um, into organizing WordCamps because WordCamp banding are still relevant in their community and for this experimentation, we allow them. But for example, in Kolkata, India, we're going to have career camp um, and then we're going to have... Um, Indonesia, uh, so the number 15 is Indonesia and we're gonna have a competition in Jakarta. So it would be in November or December. So yeah, um, let's organize WordPress events and I'm inviting you to organize next gen WordPress events. Um, for anybody who's been organizing WordCamps and meetups, please reach out to me how you can start next gen events. Um, you can collaborate with uh, other people, even with sponsors, potential businesses. Um, this is uh, the links if you want to start the next gen um, event project. Share with us your IDs. And for folks who haven't attended meetups, this is the link for you to send us your organizer's application. Um, and you feel like, oh, I, I want to do WordCamp first because I think my community really wants to have WordCamp. That's fine as well. We have the application here as well. So yeah, um, if you like to see people, make it happen. Don't wait until somebody else organize it for you. You have to be the one who organize it. Uh, make something happen for yourself and for your community. And we, we are here to support. This is the resources and thank you. And please join the Make WordPress Slack. I'll be there. I'm just a Slack away, email away, reach out to me. I'm happy to talk. Um, I'll be here until after party later. So thank you so much.